So, shooters and reloaders and three circles passengers and members, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express. And let me show you what I just made. And if you go to Home Depot and you buy these nice T handle hex wrench sets by Husky, they don't give you a holder, so you more or less have to have these things lying around loose. Not a good idea. So, with some scrap lumber, as you see this 2x6, piece of 2x6 for a base, kind of heavy, you don't need a base that thick, but then some molding, that's just scrap molding, it's uh, one inch wide and a couple inches, and just cut them to fit the base and go ahead and drill screw holes through from underneath, and we can put some little rubber feet underneath these, but then we drill some matching holes for the T-handle hex wrench. And so what we have is the metric and the SAE. And it's nicely set up in a descending order of size so that at a glance we can figure out which one we need for our use on our reloading bench and they're right there for us. So once again, you don't need a base this thick, but my intentions are to drill holes for your regular angled wrench sets. Plus, the neat thing is right, be, right in here between the two upward holders is a, a room for putting the little wrench kits that you can get from home. So, show you what I mean. Here are a couple of these husky sets of wrenches, hex wrenches, and they fit right in between like this. So they're always ready at a moment's notice. Well, I figure I don't need to show you the sawing of the wood or the running of the drill press to do all this work because you know how I do that already and You've seen me use those tools in the past, so there you go. This will have a nice spot either on my shelf or my reloading bench. Take care and good woodworking to all of you out there. Bye for now.